Welcome and thank you for joining us for the session Using the Community of Inquiry Model and a version of the Instructional Syntax Analysis Tool to analyze online discussions in health science at the International Conference on Health, Wellness, and Society. The presenters are from Western Illinois University, Dr. Hoyt Hemphill and Dr. Leanda Hemphill, both from the Instructional Design and Technology Department, and Dr. Diane Hamilton Hancock from the Department of Health Sciences. Public health education professionals have traditionally designed programs as part of a collaborative process involving face-to-face -face meetings. As computer-mediated technologies have become more pervasive, this process is now likely to occur through online asynchronous communication where participants' dialogues are not bound by place or time. In this session, we will present preliminary findings on the ongoing research we are doing on assessing the quality of online discussions for health sciences courses. Pertinent questions regarding the role and function of online discussions in project management include how do instructors analyze the quality of student learning and participation and how does online discussion and critical feedback among class peers influence the nature and level of discourse. There exists a gap in the existing literature in this area and, unfortunately, it is often difficult to judge the effectiveness of asynchronous discussions in terms of quality of student postings and interaction among participants. Agenda. The study participants were graduate students enrolled in a graduate health sciences course. Their online discussion forums were analyzed for levels of critical thinking and engagement using the Community of Inquiry model from Garrison Anderson Archer in 2001 and a modified version of the Instructional Syntax Analysis Tool, uh, Hempel 2001. Garrison's model focuses on the cognitive processing levels of a problem identification or definition exploration, integration, and resolution. Social presence was added by Hempel and Hempel 2007 as an additional nominal level. Discussion postings were coded for frequency, critical thinking level, and interactivity. A new rating tool was developed that integrated levels of processing models, the revised Bloom's taxonomy, and a project life cycle model. Their online discussion forums were analyzed for levels of critical thinking and engagement using the Community of Inquiry model, Garrison, Anderson, Archer, 2001, and a modified version of the discussion and analysis tools adop adopted for project-based discussions. Garrison model focuses on the cognitive processing levels of the problem identification, definition, exploration, integration, and resolution. Social presence was added as an additional level. Discussion postings were coded for frequency, critical thinking levels, and interactivity. The Hemphill APEC APEC tool was coded and graphed also. The electronic records of the asynchronous discussions were downloaded and stored on the computer. Uh, one researcher analyzed the level of participation using frequency data, and uh, two of the researchers classified, again, each discussion posting using both uh, using the modified garrison tool, and then uh, the compared data for inter reliability uh, came up with 81% agreement. There are a number of models already being used by researchers that identify critical thinking and online asynchronous discussions. We chose to use a modification of Gar Garrison, Anderson, and Archer's Community of Inquiry model. As we said earlier, we added a uh, nominal level for a social other uh, category. So the, altogether, as you can see in the table, the following cognitive processing levels were used. Social other, looking for agreement, acknowledgement, closing, uh, non-course related discussion, and personal information. Next category is triggering. Recognizing a problem or uh, stating a sense of puzzlement. Third, exploration, which involves information exchange, brainstorming ideas. Fourth level is integration, with connecting and synthesizing ideas. And finally, the fifth level is solution, of applications to real-world situations and testing and defending solutions. We selected the Garrison model because it's easy to use. Uh, it also has high level of integrated reliability. Uh, which we discovered in a previous study in 2007. Also, earlier studies show that students posted heaviest at the middle levels of exploration and integration using this model. Uh, we had the same results from our previous studies. To develop the next assessment tool, the revised Bloom Taxonomy, uh, which was revised by Lauren Anderson originally, 
uh, was reviewed for application in the study. The revised taxonomy now consists of the following categories. Remember, understand, apply, analyze, evaluate, and create. And this taxonomy is specifically designed for the cognitive domain. Another tool that we looked at was a model for the project life cycle. It consists of the following stages, initiation, planning and design, execution, monitoring and controlling, and lastly, project closing. A new taxonomy called APECS, APEX, was developed for this study. It integrates levels of cognitive processing in an online discussion with processing and processes common to project management. Apex levels consist of effective acknowledgement, purposive processing, effective execution, creative construction, and synthesized solution. While all levels of discussion may occur throughout the different life cycle stages of a project, the higher levels of interaction typically are found at critical points in initial planning and the execution of the project. The first analysis shown in this graph represents how the discussion postings fell into the various garrison rating categories for Group 1. Most postings for the group leaders and students fell into Category 1, Social Other. Instructor ratings were evenly distributed across the five categories. Group 2 showed more postings for leaders in Levels 2 and 3, as well as slightly more Level 2 for students. Also note that the majority of the instructor postings were in Category 4, Integration. Uh, there were no Level 5 postings for any of the postings in the three uh, groups of participants. As with Group 1, Group 3 had one instructional posting in each of the five categories. Student postings were only in Category 1, and the majority of leader postings were in 1, with some in Categories 2 and 3. Next, a graphical analysis was conducted of postings in the sequence in which they appeared on the discussion forum using both the Garrison Scale and the Hippill Apex Scale. You can see here for Group 1, they showed a close correspondence between the two scales. Levels tend to peak shortly after the beginning of the project discussion and towards the execution and control phase. Group 2 showed overall lower levels of processing during the discussion, with increases towards the execution and control phase. Group 3 appears to be closer to Group 1 in the posting levels as it progressed through the project discussion. Again, note that the Garrison and Apex uh, ratings correlate fairly well. Preliminary findings Obviously, the sample size of postings for all three groups was small, and it would be difficult to generalize these findings to other online courses with discussion postings. However, there is some suggestion that the levels of posting tend to increase at some point after project initiation and during the execution phase. Levels then uh, tend to drop back down by the uh, project close. As with the 2007 Hempel and Hempel study, Instructor and discussion leader postings may encourage high level uh, posting by the students, or at least higher level. Finally, it appears that the extended garrison and apex ratings correlate closely throughout the sequence of discussion postings, although the apex scale may be somewhat more affected by the phase of the project life cycle. More research on larger posting sample sizes is needed to verify whether such postings would have statistical significance. While the findings must be viewed with caution, they suggest that instructors may want to be sensitive to the current type and stage of project activity to gauge the level of their own postings. At a critical moment, a higher level of posting may encourage more critical thinking among discussion participants. Likewise, lower level postings may be more appropriate during the simple information exchanges and, and task assignment or reporting throughout the project. Further validation is needed for the APEX scale, both to establish validity in relationship to project activity discussions and to determine its correlation to other cognitive level scales, such as the Garrison Scale and the revised Bloom's Taxonomy. Thank you.